after getting fully introduced to the concept of uh, CES production function now we will calculate the elasticity of uh, CES production function we remember from the previous lectures that this is the formula of uh, elasticity of substitution actually we learned three of them but we are using this one now the CES production function is mentioned here we remember it from the last video that we can use either this form or that form that form or this form this form is actually uh, more friendly when it comes to the simplification so we are going to continue using this form because there is no such whole power which can lead to binomial theorem or expansion now this is uh, the first assumption that if we are on an isoquant the output would be constant when we do this assumption on Q we are going to write a bar because now we are on an isoquant now we take the total differential because we know it will allow us to calculate the delta K over delta L term which is required for this formula or DK over DL form so total differential is calculated here on the left hand side it will be zero because now output is considered to be constant on the right hand side we are taking the differential uh, this is not a variable term so it comes out as a constant and remaining is here so we can uh, solve this by using the simple differential term here I want to remind you that you may subscribe to this channel so that you learn more about novel types of production functions and research tools, softwares. So now we can take the differential here the term the first term is different uh, taking the differential of the second term its differential and in this way we have uh, taken the differentials and you can pause the video and see that how these simple differentials are taken now this minus uh, rho is common in both of the terms so we bring it out we write it here and the remaining terms are here y these two terms can be reduced to zero when we shift them to the other side when divide by zero they become zero and now we are left with these terms only the purpose of arranging these terms is to get the term dk over dl which is required for the formula that we are using in this case so rearrangement by shifting one of the terms to the other side that is this term as you can see it has turned negative and keeping dk over here and shifting this dl on the other side will leave us with this term on the right hand side because this term has been shifted to the other side whereas this term will remain here as it is as I said we need the value of dk over dl and doing this will allow us to have uh, this expression where both of the parameters are written in one place and the variables are gathered now both of them seem to have the same power before we do that we take minus common in their powers because it is also possible it will give us a positive term inside the parenthesis now this is written in a whole power way which is also uh, acceptable and when we do this we have finally this form which can be further refined because uh, this minus sign can be turned positive if we reciprocalize this term inside the parenthesis that is L over K becomes K over L and the sign of the power reverses from minus to plus this is one of the terms that is uh, that uh, are required that is this term so now we are going to differentiate this term the answer th of the last expression with respect to K over L here it is a little surprising because we know that in the elasticity of substitution we are talking about substitution and that is relative between capital and labor so capital alone is not used usually we use the ratio of the two factors of production because we are talking in relative terms so the last expression is here and we have differentiated it with respect to 
k over l that is capital to labor ratio and it is also suitable because in this expression we have capital to labor ratio so differentiating this expression with respect to capital to labor ratio is going to help us get some meaningful results so therefore derivative with respect to capital over labor so the derivative is taken here you can see that uh, this is the term the same term that we had before and this is actually a constant term and it comes out as a coefficient and the derivative is taken of this term only that has capital over labor because in this case capital over labor is considered as the variable now we can keep it here that is the coefficient and the power of the variable ratio is coming out as per the power rule of uh, differentiation and the reduction of 1 in the power and then the derivative of the expression while keeping its power 1 is written here this usually gets cancelled out so it reduces to 1 these two also get cancelled out so the power reduces to rho only while this becomes another coefficient besides this coefficient so we have this result and now uh, we can rewrite it in this way where we are mentioning that what is on the left hand side now we have all the terms that we needed however a little bit of uh, adjustment is required because when we recall the formula of elasticity substitution it was this and now it is uh, rewritten like this we have reciprocalized the term the term in the denominator has been reciprocalized and brought here you can see the denominator has become the numerator and the numerator has become the denominator well this term is as it is now we have further reciprocalized it written it separately like this so that uh, it becomes clear but there is one more thing that we need to remember that this reciprocalization is not just bringing this term back it is simply the ratio of these two terms that is this term in the denominator and this term in the numerator and the reason is simple because we have the value of this term in which we have these two terms that is d of dk over dl over d of k over l so we can send this term in the denominator when it, it, it shifted it gets shifted to the denominator it becomes like this while this term is still there and dk uh, over dl remains where it was and this k over l is also in the same place i'm going to make some arrows for your convenience this term is shifted to the denominator this term is in the same place this term is also in the same place and this term is also in the same place so i hope this will be helpful for you to understand that how this whole thing has happened you can pause the video and see that how the adjustments have been made the purpose was to facilitate because we have this value we just found it in in our last uh, calculation and we also have this value that is the slope of the isoquant here in the very first step that we did in this process so now we are going to put the, the, these values as you can see i have substituted this value and that value k over l will remain the same because it doesn't have any value it is simply the ratio now the effort will be reduced to a minimum because most of the values will be cancelled out as you can see already uh, we will be left with um, k over l here after the cancellation with this row power with this of this row power there will be k over l raised to the power 1 which will be further cancelled out with this term so you see all of the terms are cancelled out so now it's more clear with these uh, bars on it uh, you can pause the video and see that how all the terms are cancelled out we are left with row plus one only so we have written it here 
So this is the formula of the elasticity of substitution for constant elasticity of substitution production function. And it suggests that this ACMS production function, its elasticity of substitution basically depends upon one of the parameters and that is the substitution parameter as we already understood about it. So as the name goes, it determines the elasticity of substitution, this substitution parameter, the substitution between capital and labor. Therefore, we can call it a constant elasticity of substitution production function because the value is basically going to be a constant 1, 1 and rho. Rho is a parameter that can have a certain value, so it's not a variable. So elasticity of substitution between capital and labor doesn't depend on capital or labor. You cannot see any variable here. You can only see the parameters. So you can see that it is not uh, a function of capital or labor that is any variable. It is just a function of a parameter. So the answer will be a constant. It will not change with the changing values of capital and labor. So we call it a constant elasticity of substitution production function. So this was about the elasticity of substitution of CES production function. Thank you.